Hey everyone, this is Luke at Tilehouse Studios. I thought I'd explain a bit today about how tape machines work. Obviously they record audio and music similar to computers, but computer uses binary code stored to a hard drive, whereas the tape machine uses magnetic flexivity to store information to a reel of tape. So tapes come in different sizes and different widths. So this tape is 2,500 feet or half a mile long. So that's the amount of tape there is on this reel. And the width is two inches. The reason it's two inches is because this tape machine is a two inch 16 track tape machine. So all of the mechanical parts and the heads and the head block are two inches wide to accommodate the tape. It's 16 tracks, which means it can record 16 layers or tracks at, at one time. If you run out of tracks, you'll need to bounce down to a, or submix to, to a, um, a spare track. And tape machines come in different formats. So we also have a quarter inch two track tape machine, which we use for mixing down. The two tracks are your left and right side of a stereo mix. So we we'll often we'll record to 16 track and then mix on the mixing desk to two track and that can be sent off for mastering to vinyl or for digital or whatever. So how does a tape machine work? Well, once you load a tape onto it, the tape, when you play it, will pass by this bit of the machine here. And this is called the head block. As you can see, we've got three heads this is the erase head, which erases what's on the tape on the particular track you're working on. This is the record head, which will record to whichever track or tracks you've selected. And this is the reproduce head or repro head, which will translate the magnetic flux, which is recorded on the tape into voltage so that we can play it back through speakers or mix it on the mixing desk. The record head is also referred to as the sync head. So when we're doing overdubs, we want the machine to be in sync mode so that we're listening back to everything from the same head that we're recording onto. Otherwise, if you leave it on repro by accident, you'll be recording a few milliseconds earlier than what you're actually listening to. So when you play your overdub back, you'll notice that it's out of time. So it's important to be overdubbing from the sync head and playing back or mixing off the repro head. As you can see, there's a space between the input and the repro heads. And we can use this gap to create tape delay or sort of slap back tape effect, depending on what speed the tape machine is running at. So obviously it takes a certain amount of time for the tape to pass from here to here. So we can use that if we want to, to create tape delay. I'll talk about that in another video in a bit more detail. And that's kind of it in a nutshell. I can explain a bit more in another video about the ins and outs of different aspects of tape machines. So if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and um, I'll do my best to answer them. So don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, let me know if you've got any questions. All right. Thanks.